The teenager accused of kidnapping and trying to rape a 16 year old girl made his first court appearance in juvenile court just hours ago. It's our top story here on the four. I'm Heather Myers. Uh, I'm Carla Chiquetta. You might remember that surveillance video that was used to help find the suspect. Uh, the alleged attack happened in July in Lincoln Acres. The suspect surrendered to deputies last week. CBS 8's Kelly Hesedal spoke to the teen's family and his attorney. She joins us live from outside juvenile court with what they had to say. Kelly. That's right. Nine family members, including the suspect's parents, as well as his great grandmother, appeared here uh, or showed up here at least to juvenile court uh, to support uh, this teenage suspect. Now, his mother tells me he is a senior at Sweetwater High School. His dad told me this. He's a good boy. Uh, we're just moving forward with this and to get the situation addressed. He's very young, very quiet and shy boy. The accusations are serious and, and they're out of character with who he is. He has. And that last gentleman that you heard from was the teen's attorney, John Rodriguez. Now, obviously, this is a sensitive case. It involves two juveniles and involves allegations of kidnapping and attempted sexual assault. Uh, so the judge did not allow cameras inside the courtroom. Uh, reporters were not even allowed to sit in on the hearing. So the information we have is very limited. But we do know the 17 year old was arrested last week after images were released from a security camera. Uh, sheriff's investigators say the teen surrendered to deputies in Mission Valley. The attack itself happened July 26 in broad daylight near the 2900 block of Prospect Street. The accuser told deputies she was tackled to the ground by the suspect, uh, that she fought him off, ran away, but says uh, he tackled her again and tried to rape her. Now, a good Samaritan intervened. Deputies say that suspect was able to get away with her cell phone. When I asked Rodriguez about that surveillance video that allegedly captured images of his client, here's what he told me. I've yet to see it. I can't tell you. I've I've seen a blurb of this on television. I have to wait until I get all the discovery. Once I do that, then we can address the evidence. We can deal with what, the accuracy, the credibility of it. And so for now, that juvenile remains in custody. Uh, his family tells me they are behind him 100%. Heather and Carlo. Yeah, Kelly, these are very serious accusations against this 16 year old. Is there any chance? Did prosecutors have anything to say about this case possibly being transferred to adult court? Yeah, you know, the teenager is 17 years old, uh, but the prosecutors tell me, uh, the district attorney's office tells me that they are not going to be petitioning to have it transferred to adult court. Now, why? We don't know the answer to that. And the fact that this is a juvenile case, uh, a lot of things are confidential. However, when you consider, you know, which system you're in, you know, if he was to be found guilty in juvenile court, uh, the maximum time that they could hold him till is till he's 25 years old. Kelly Hassett, all reporting for us live. We'll continue to follow this case as it develops through the court system. Thanks, Kelly.